Hello students, welcome to Sarabsa's classes. Today we will be solving the JNU School of International Studies MA Economics question paper of year 2016. Today we will be solving question number 5. In question number 5 it has been said that we need to determine the points on the curve y equal to x square plus 1 that is or are closest to the point 0 comma 2. The options are 0 comma 1 option b is minus 1 by root 2 comma 3 by 2 and my 1 by root 2 comma 3 by 2 so these are the two points option c is minus 2 minus 2 comma 5 and 2 comma 5 and option d is minus 4 comma 17 and 4 comma 17 so these are the four options so what we've been given is if we try to draw the curve then this will be of the format y equal to x square plus 1 is given by this y is equal to x square plus 1 and this is the point 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 2 lies over here so we need to find out the point on this very curve which is closest to this point so let x y be the required point required point on the curve so that implies that distance which will be given by d square will be equal to x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square that will be equal to x square plus y minus 2 whole square now if we put we know that y square is equal to x square plus 1 so that implies that x square is equal to y minus 1 so d square will turn into y minus of 1 plus y minus 2 whole square now we can take this ex entire expression as f of y say so now if we do f dash of y that implies that f dash y will give us 1 plus 2 into y minus 2 this will give us twice of y minus 3 for maximum or minimum f dash y is equal to 0 and that will imply that twice y minus 3 is equal to 0 and that will imply that y is equal to 3 by 2 now let us find out f double dash y f double dash y is given by equal to 2 which is greater than 0 and that implies that there is a minimum at the point where f dash y is equal to 0 so we can say that minimum is at y equal to 3 by 2 now if we put y equal to 3 by 2 then x square is equal to 3 by 2 minus of 1 which will be equal to 1 by 2 and therefore x will be equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 and in that case we can write that x y is equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 by 3 by 2 or we can write it as 1 by root minus of 1 by root 2 3 by 2 and 1 by root 2 comma 3 by 2 which is the option which is the option b so the option b is the correct option so today we have solved the question number five from the jnu school of international studies ma economics question paper of year 2016 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching services classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much